All right, that brings us to um, the topic of the upcoming ALD. Um, I'm sure the viewers already have a taste of what last year's ALD was, and I'm sure they will be optimistic to be here for the upcoming ALD. But now let's give them a little bit of taste of the upcoming ALD, shall we? Yes, and I'm so excited to talk about it. If you think you've seen something, you've not seen anything yet. Because we are in the business of uh, raising the bar, we have challenged ourselves that we will be doing things better than they've ever been before. Mm -hmm. There were things that you saw for the first time the last, the, the last year, in 2011, and we're intending to have things that you've never seen in any event organized by any government community in the uh, Washington D.C. or in the United States of America. Uh, first of all, for the soccer players, we're going to get you better fields for the Saturday games. That is, that is a given. You know, we're going to have far better fields this time for Saturday. Of course, the Sunday, nobody matches our fields because we take you to a tough. But Saturday, we are committed to getting you better fields. And the programs, uh, the programs committee is hard at work now. And I'll just still here and tell you some of the things that they're planning to do. It was supposed to be a surprise. We are intending to bring Cora into the program for Friday night. The reason for that is... Uh, we want people to be entertained while they are being seated. So we are bringing a very great Kora player who will be performing while people are coming into the hall. And that is again taking you back. Saturday we are not going to the normal just dress and come to a party, no. We are intending to have a black tie gala night. You know, where dinner will be served from you know, a particular time to a particular time. We are expecting people to be nicely dressed in their tuxedos and all these things. And at least look like you're going to a high, you know, high level party. You know, we'll have very good music, of course. And the Friday night event too, before you know, we have a wonderful venue. It's big, it's huge, it's nice, nicely carpeted. But then I'll just jump straight to Sunday. Instead of just having a soccer game at the finals and then music, we're going different. We are intending and we're in very uh, uh, advanced negotiations now of not having only a soccer game, but we'll have uh, the hunting or the ferry, most likely ferry at the, at, the, at the park and hunting on Friday night. But we'll also bring you Zimba. I know most of you have not seen Zimba for a very, very long time. If you're surprised this way, we're bringing Kankuran too. You've not seen Kankuran Miu for a long time. If you've been like some of us who've been here for 15, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9 years, these are things that we miss. So we'll bring all these things together for the people. So it's going to be a cultural festival. So we feel that this is one way of at least bringing that culture to the people so that they will at least appreciate how we used to have fun. So these are the things that, that, that we're intending to do. And uh, we'll, of course, uh, pl we are planning this year to also have something like a symposium mm -hmm. where we'll have uh, great speakers who will come and talk about things that would be beneficial to, to, the, to, the, to the community okay. and we are intending to have it at the venue we will have the soccer field where at least people will have an opportunity to attend both instead of having to decide which one to be at because that has been the problem. But these are the things that we are intending to do so just look out. These are just, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Okay. Yeah, excellent, yeah. excellent. I'm sure there is a lot more to it that we don't want to disclose here. Oh, no, I'm not disclosing. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Mr. Colley, yes. I would want you to elaborate on that as well. Yes. You know, I think, um, Mr. Dabo, you know, um, I think um, pretty much um, Mr. President, um, you know, covered everything in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, in being aware of all these things that are going to occur mm -hmm. in the upcoming um, ALD, I think, you know, personally, you know, I couldn't tell you how excited I am. And um, including my family and especially my kids, because these are things that I started talking to them about that they've never been exposed to. Um, but, um, you know, one thing that, you know, I'm more excited about is, is the preparation piece where, you know, could you believe uh, most of our people, if not all, they've started going to work for this coming ALD since, you know, um, after the last year's ALD, 2011's ALD. So, most of the things that Pasamba, you know, just alluded to um, have already been confirmed. And that's because of the preparation piece, because people prepared, they planned, they prepared, and obviously what's left is the execution piece. 
So, you know, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to those things. I couldn't tell you last time I even personally saw Kankara. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I said, the Kankara piece, the Simba and, and the Kora thing, you know, those are moments that I missed personally. Indeed. And, um, and I'm, again, I could not tell you how, how extremely excited I am. And I can't wait um, for Mr. Papa Jack to join us as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, love, I know last year, um, you know, he performed, but this year he's committed to, take, you know, kicking things up a notch. Okay. And again, I cannot tell you how excited I am and um, how, you know, eager I am looking forward to that, you know, that, that event. So, Excellent. you know, yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank yeah, you so and much. We were talking about Paul Mark Jack, just uh, this thing. Uh, I was just talking to him. He is at the advanced stages of, uh, he's just waiting for some things to settle in Senegal and he'll be recording a brand new album. And I think there will be a dedicated, one song dedicated to the whole ALD. So you're getting, you're getting something real great this time. Does he have a song for GA? That will be a surprise. I know some <laughs> things, but I'm not revealing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good, good, All right. Good. So, 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 in other words, you gotta come to witness it. Oh yeah, you gotta come to witness okay. it. Okay. So we are not going to regret. There will be nothing like this ALD ever. We are back full time. Excellent. All right. Yes, that's good. I'm sure the viewers buy that. Oh, yeah. And um, uh, one of the other pieces that I want us to discuss is the sponsorship packet that we have. Um, every year, we approach businesses, and not only approach businesses, businesses do approach us as well because it's a win-win situation for both sides. Mm -hmm. As businesses try to increase their profits and by capturing a lot of uh, customers, grabbing the markets here and there, and the success of the ALD triggers that as well. And last year we've seen the participation from Global Property that came by and a few orders. Um, I'm, I'm sure you guys will mention that in your statement. And what do we have that is set for the package for the, um, the potential sponsors for this upcoming ALD? Yeah, I think uh, uh, Boo will be able to delve into that a lot more because he is part of the committee that's responsible for that. But what I have to tell any potential sponsor is the opportunity that we provide you. Now, you live, we are here in the Metro DC area, which has over 5,000 Gambians living around here. And that doesn't include, you know, everybody who is coming from all parts of the United States and Europe to, to witness the ALD. Again, we, our programs are recorded, they are videotaped and they are, you know, distributed all over the world. So meaning the potential for capturing with these things, uh, 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 clients, you know, goes way beyond the ALD itself. You know, and uh, we are hoping that uh, a lot more businesses will participate this time around. And uh, if you are a business, especially in the United States, where a 501c3 is uh, organization, mm -hmm. you know, if you were to donate money towards the ALD or whatever, it is something that can be, you know, deducted from your taxes. So it's a win-win situation because we have the capacity to, 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 to promote your business and give you also the chance to also at least promote yours. You know, we you know we win by you helping, and you win by at least tapping from our resources. So definitely, there is a lot that lot that can be done, and the business is on the ground too. Like let's say, if you have a cell phone company, if a Gambian leaves here to go to the Gambia, there is a greater chance that he would be buying units to make calls than most people in the Gambia, because you know most people who go on holidays would want a cell phone fully functional, you know, with the, they will buy minutes every minute to use. They will not be the one flashing people to call them back. So we give you business. So if you advertise with us, then you are getting those people. Okay. If, you, if you have a home rental business, we are again the people who go to the Gambia for release. If you advertise with us, the chances that people will want to go and stay in your homes. If you're selling homes, like global properties and all these other interesting uh, entities, you know, again, the potential of buying home is greater from people outside of the United uh, outside of the Gambia than those that are in the Gambia. So again, you are advertising to a very good group that may eventually benefit your business. So it's a win-win situation. I think Buba can elaborate on some of the things that his committee is planning to do. Excellent, Mr. Pauli. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Um, 
you know, Mr. Dabo, you know, as um, as coach alluded to, one thing that I'm really excited about is the, you know, being able to obtain the 501c3 status with IRS. Just for the record, you know, um, you know, it's really challenging to be able to secure that status because you have to show us that I'm a very credible charitable organization um, and there's a lot of you know documentation involved in that and being a credible organization such as GA we're able to obtain that status and that's the most exciting thing for me because that's something that we've been trying to pursue for a long long time now the benefit to that is you know once you uh, whatever contribution you make towards GA um, those are things that you can claim um, when filing your taxes at the end of the physical year. Um, and, you know, to Mr. Mr. Jow's point, you know, with this positive of things, we have, we currently have wonderful and very attractive pack, sponsorship packages that we put together. And that's going to be obviously uh, be updated um, in the website so that people can have an opportunity to take a look at that and uh, express interest in whatever level of sponsorship they want to, um, they feel comfortable with. But at the end of the day, I think that, you know, having an opportunity as a business person or um, a business organization um, to come to a function and being able to kill, you know, 500 birds with one stone, it's something that I think everyone will want to jump at the opportunity. That's right. You know, because obviously we all know how hard it is to you're trying to sell your business or promote your business for that matter because you have to knock on people's door. Mm -hmm. But this will give the, the benefit of this is it will give an opportunity to be able to again talk to 500, over 500 people, mm -hmm. minimum, mm -hmm. um, you know, talk about your business. And you know, we have, you know, for example, just to kind of um, give you some um, few tips, you know, some sponsors includes, you know, having the business to have a PowerPoint presentation, um, you know, during all events, you know, whatever they want, whatever they want to sell, whatever point they want to drive, whatever message they want to drive, those are things that they'll have an opportunity to do. So, like I said, you know, we're currently working on those, you know, sponsorship packages, um, and they're very attractive. And last year, to give an example, we have this wonderful business called Global Properties, you know, in, in located in Gambia. Right. They were our main sponsor. And, you know, we definitely had a blast with those guys. We were able to work with them to, you know, help them accomplish what their goals were. And I'm confident that they did um, obtain the, 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 you know, the goals that they were trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. But with that said, there are ex this year there's more um, excitement to the packet that we are providing. And we respectfully challenge and encourage, you know, all those businesses to, to really look at those packets and invest in because at the end of the day, they'll definitely get that return on investment. Um, and, and we promised them that. Again, to Mr. President's point, you know, companies like Gamsel, Afresel, because most of the people that travel, you know, they, they, they have to have that means of coming. Now, you can't survive, you know, without um, a cell phone because you got to communicate with people. What an opportunity to come here and sell your business for the folks that are going to be coming there to visit their families or friends um, to be able to you know, do business with you when they hit the ground. Um, but like I said, you know, it's really something that we're really excited about. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we are going to be again updating our website with all those attractive um, packages. And then, you, know, we, you know, they can visit our website um, at www.dc, D as in David, C as in Charlie, um, GAA.com. Again, I repeat, www.dcgaa.com. You know, once they visit that, you know, all that information should be available there. Okay. And if they have any questions, you know, that's, that's also, also going to be contact people that they can contact for more details. Excellent. Yeah. And I'm sure it's a first-come, 1st first serve basis because I don't think there's room for every business because time is sensitive. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like I said, you know, um, you know, we're expecting a lot of, you know, we're attracting, you know, even within our D.C. metropolitan area. Uh, we have a lot of businesses that are currently knocking on that door. But again, what we want to do is we want to be fair and consistent by making sure that everyone has an opportunity, you know, to look at the pack at the same time and be able to express interest. So it's going to be first time, first our base. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mr. Coley, and thank, thank you, Mr. Joe. Um,
in conclusion what is the message to the to the community to the audience um, the first time viewers um, those who have already um, been in our events and some of them that have not what is the final message to them in this upcoming ALD? So forget it. ALD will be in the next one. The one who has to go to the next one. This Lord. Why do we have to rack at a new one? Who knew ALD? We have to move past any. Have any new British accent to have to learn a joke. ALD be new and move on. Dinner next. Dinner next. Dinner am solo. Who come both in a. The guy yak. The fog market. The guy yak. Begi la nak nyunat kau wah suka defin gen jenis sen tiket itu mau nak jugi jenis buku UAC dalam UAC para nak nyu parang nyolen jadi nyun amun jadi ALD the oldest Gambian reunion in the diaspora so we all calling you to come you will enjoy it is going to be splendid period you going to have a blast the best reunion ever that's what we are promising. Excellent, Mr. Jeff. Mr. Kuli? Um, Yusuf, I think, um, you know, one thing that I think this ALD will bring is, you know, the, 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 it's obviously the biggest opportunity really. And I think, you know, there has been so much noise about last year's ALD, 2011. But this 2012, Yusuf, we're going to knock the ball out of the park. Um, if you miss it, Yusuf, you're going to regret it. Um, I really encourage you because, again, there's going to be so much, we're going to have so much fun this year. And, and also, if you haven't seen friends and families for a long time, there's an opportunity for you to inter come interact with them, because you're going to see them. Uh, we have people coming from all over the country in the United States. We have people coming from Europe. We have people from, coming from the Gambia. So, again, um, if you missed last year's, I'm sure you regretted that um, by now. But if you ever miss this one, Yusufa, boy, I tell you, you never, ever, ever have more, I mean, you will never, ever enjoy, um, you know, um, an event such as this coming up ALD, the 2012 ALD. So, I really encourage and, um, and recommend and challenge everyone, you know, to do their part by coming together so we can all have fun together and which will allow GAA, you know, to accomplish their goal, which is to you know, help people that are in need because it takes, you know, a village, mm -hmm. you know, um, to raise a family and it's going to take, you know, the whole community, mm -hmm. uh, community's effort to, to, to help accomplish what GA's objectives are, goals and objectives are. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, as, 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 as we said in Wola Mola Moi Dole, mm -hmm. so let's come together and if we do, I guarantee you we can even move a mountain. So again, I really challenge and encourage everybody yeah. to come join us, whether well, kids, because we kill them for all age groups. Excellent. That's the beauty of this. We kill them for all age groups, um, all culture, different background, different ethnicity. Um, so it's going to be very exciting. Excellent. Mr. Kohli, Mr. Joe, on behalf of Kashatla Media Forum, I thank you all. That brings us to the end of this meeting. And thank you all. Thank you. You're welcome.